with the advent of the cloud computing era, data center network are under immense pressure. In addition to the scalability and high performance, data center networks also need to achieve higher agilability and flexibility through extensive automation. Ansible is an automatic ONM tool that can be used to configure systems, deploy software, and orchestrate complex IT tasks. Service provisioning can be automated by interconnecting Ansible with iMaster NCE Fabric for efficient network management. Let's take the example of a company that wants to configure LACP on two switches. To achieve this, we can create an Ansible playbook, define task scripts such as creating LACP links and setting VLANs, and then execute the Ansible playbook. The execution result is sent to iMaster NCE Fabric, which then delivers the result to the switches. In this way, the company can implement quick and automatic delivery of required network configurations and services for better ONM efficiency. Interconnecting Ansible with iMaster NCE Fabric allows us to complete tasks more efficiently, accelerate deployment and management, and improve ONM efficiency and quality. Now, let me demonstrate how Ansible interconnects with the controller and delivers services. First, we need to create a northbound user for interconnecting with Ansible. Specifically, log in to iMaster NCE Fabric, choose User Management from the main menu, and create a user. When creating a user, set Type to third party and enter username Ansible and the password. On the Select Roles page, select Northbound Interface Operator. Then you can see that Ansible user is successfully created. Then go to the Tenant page. No Ansible tenant information is displayed. We can use Ansible to create a tenant. Log into Ansible, and go to the Playbook folder, and view the created configuration files for Ansible tasks. These files are called Playbooks. In the Playbook of the tenant creation task, the tenant name has been defined. Execute this playbook. If the execution result is OK, the tenant is successfully created. Log into the tenant page of iMaster NC Fabric. The tenant information created using Ansible is displayed. Currently, no VPC network information is available. We need to create a VPC and configure Layer 2 network connectivity. Log into Ansible and execute the playbook of the Layer 2 network connectivity task. Parameters such as the network segment, gateway, VLAN, and port name have been configured in the playbook. If the playbook execution result is OK, the task is successfully executed. Return to the controller GUI. We can see that the VPC has been successfully created. Click the Logical Network tab on the VPC detail to view the information about the logical router, logical switch, and logical port. Then, perform a connectivity test using a VM to verify that the Layer 2 network delivered by Ansible is reachable. Then, use Ansible to add a network segment to implement Layer 3 network connectivity. Log into Ansible, execute the playbook of the Layer 3 network connectivity task, and add parameters such as network segment and gateway.
after the playbook is executed successfully. Go to the logical network page of the VPC on the controller GUI. We can see that the network segment is successfully added and the VMM information is successfully delivered. Then, perform a connectivity test using a VM to verify that the Layer 3 network delivered by Ansible is reachable. Return to the controller GUI. We can see that the VM online information on the VPC logical network. Next, log in to Ansible and execute the playbook for accessing external network services. After the playbook has been executed successfully, Return to the controller GUI to verify that the external network and external connection are created successfully. Perform a connectivity test using a VM to verify that the external network is reachable. Log in to Ansible to update the logical port. Specifically, execute the playbook of the port update task to change the VLAN ID to 2000 and 200. After the playbook has been executed successfully, log in to the controller GUI and verify that the port VLAN is updated. Use Ansible to delete the delivered logical port by executing corresponding playbook. Then, return to the logical network page of the controller to verify that the logical port here is deleted successfully. Okay, that's all for this episode of Test It, Believe It. Thank you.